impact. Wait, no, not that type of impact, this type of impact. Traditionally, robotics teams aren't thought of as much more than a place to, well, build robots. The truth, however, is that we are much more than that. A first team exposes you to knowledge in the fields of science, technology, engineering, art, math, graphic design, photography, videography, and much, much more. A first team also gives students valuable life skills in other areas, such as leadership, grant writing, engaging with sponsors, and presenting. However, the distinguishing factor that separates a first team from any other robotics or STEM related competition is our ability to take the skills learned through the FIRST program and share it with our community. Community outreach should be one of the top priorities of any FIRST team, rookie or experienced. To help you with this journey, we've compiled this video to show you the importance of outreach and how your team can make an impact. First, we'll go over the methods of how to start outreach and how to make connections in your community to foster them to create opportunities. Then we'll go over some of the outreach Team 461 has done to give you an idea of how to get started on your impact journey. The most important thing to know is that outreach opportunities don't just grow on trees. Teams will have to work hard to attain and maintain their connections. Make sure to connect with your community. You can do this in multiple ways. First, make sure to utilize the connections you already have. These connections could come from students, mentors, alumni, or anybody who could have connections with an organization. For example, one of our past members was a member of Girl Scouts. She introduced us to our community's Girl Scouts sector and opened new opportunities for us. We were able to certify STEM badges and were also invited to speak at a Girl Scouts event. Another thing that brings in connections are open houses. Your team could host an open house and invite anybody you would like to know more about your team. These include local companies, teachers from your school, or anyone else you would be interested in connecting with. They would be able to learn more about the great things your team does to spread STEM, and you could introduce your ideas or ask for any ways that your team could help them contribute to the community. Our team is more than qualified to provide feedback in the field of outreach. We have an amazing outreach program with everyone actively engaging in our program. Here are some of the things we've done to give you some ideas along your outreach journey. Our outreach program consists of two areas, promoting STEM interest and access, and giving back to the community. We created a LEGO Robotics summer camp geared towards middle school students and helped mentor the minorities in engineering program with Purdue First programs. Through four FTC teams and nine FLL teams, we exposed many students interested in FIRST within our community. To promote STEM access, especially for those disadvantaged in our area, we hosted unified robotics teams and Deaf Kids Codes event. Furthermore, to give back to our community, we host events such as Boiler Bot Battle and Purdue First programs annually for teams all across Indiana. We also partnered with our school's band program to build a 20-foot horse to be used at the Marching Band State Fair. Finally, we run an outreach website to help any team get started. I highly encourage you to take a look right here. Team 461 truly enjoys giving back to the community, and we hope that this video has been helpful in getting your team started with your outreach journey. Now go out there and impact your community.